What is going on, everybody? Chris Tales, part four. We are in the walled city. Uh, that's not what I wanted. If you really want to help the people of this city, we ought to head for Mount Thysia. Gotta head to Mount Thysia. She's who I do weapon upgrades with. Uh, don't bother me, please. I'm here on business. Okay. Good for you, ladies. Um, yeah. Last time, we ended up getting into a bit of a scuffle with the shield ladies. We got our powers back. So, things are... Whoop. Things are cooking. Eh. Healing juice, awesome. And yeah, we're uh, things are grooving. Things are grooving. Making some good progress. And uh, we're having fun. This game's great. And we must mo uncover more of the story. Where is everybody? Wait a second. Dad? Wait. Let's just listen for a minute. looking around. I got my time powers now. I want to see if there's any... Oop, oop, oop. I see... We'll send the frog. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go to your group. A beautiful purple rose. That, that's it. A beautiful... You're not gonna grab it for me or something? Happens if I. Alright, so it's interesting. I'll probably need that for a side mission or something. It's time for the hands that built this town to take a share of its riches. No more low pay for dangerous work. No more breaking our backs without a chance to even see a doctor. No more wearing rags and living in hobbles. They say they need more red crystal for the war. But what does it matter to us who rules in Crystallis if we just suffer and die like animals here? Your father has a rather deft way with words. I don't know that words matter if you don't have the power to back them up. But he's right. What did you say? Mr. Armando is right. I've seen the future, and I know that this whole district will be permanently flooded, and everyone will be gone. Wait. Is she for real? You're one of those time mages who came with my son, aren't you? Can you really see our future? It is true. I can see that this whole district will be flooded permanently. But I also learned that nothing is inevitable. I'm sure you can stop it. Well, whatever you claim to see in the future, I can see the present. And I know that they will try to crush us. But we will not let them. No more mysterious disappearances on the mountain. Let them try to replace us with automatons. They, the wealth of Saint Oops. Clarity, will belong to those who work for it. I was scratching my face and went to put my hand back down on my controller and accidentally slapped the A button. You give a rousing speech, sir. I speak the truth. That's all any of us can do. Depending on how much I get attacked here, there's going to be a whole lot of f footage you guys aren't going to see. Oh, 
Who are you? Hello there. The mountains are nice, aren't they? This is the life. Oh. Merchant. You sell consumable goods, which is good, but I'm broke as a joke. Cute dog. Chris Bell, what do you want to do? Oh, nothing, nothing for now. now. Uh, do you look like you need some help? Someone, please! Help! Someone is being attacked by wolves! Quickly, we should help him! hi -ya! Uh, hello? Can I... <laughs> Can I inject myself into the situation and help? Oops, wrong button. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Skills, offensive poison, throw, poison this one. Ooh boy, they do just tremendous amounts of damage. Should be able to finish this one off here. Yes, cool. Can we stop attacking my weakest guy over and over again? That'd be really grand. I'm well enough. Just had to move a bit faster than I'm fit to. Those wolves were unusually aggressive. I just wanted to gather some flowers. All of them had died during the fighting. Didn't have no place for it. So they built a memorial in the forest by Nareen. Anyways, my sister's in there. Didn't have nothing to do with the fighting, but it still took her anyway. Like I said, I just wanted to get some flowers for her. All kind of flowers used to grow on the mountain, but now it seems there ain't any. I'm so sorry for your loss. Is there anything we can do? Well, you could help me gather flowers for the memorial. Five or so different kinds should be good. Used to be, folks would plant brightly colored flowers everywhere around town. Might be some older folks in town still have them. You could ask around. Okay. Oh, skill. Whew. Yeah, no, this game, I really like this game. I think it's fantastic. Like it's the colors. That's a ghastly color, is it not? Oh, it's from the ruby dust. It's just the color the water takes when we harvest the red crystal. Boom. Red crystal is found in the soil here in small amounts. Plants absorb it, and the animals eat the plants. The animals end up with lots of the crystal in their fat and bones. Back in the day, Delicious. people would pan for crystal dust in the stream. Some would also hunt old or sickly animals for it. Gross. That's horrible. As brutal as it sounds, hunting the oldest and weakest creatures keeps the rest of the herd healthy. 
I suspect the practice has become something else entirely now. They must be processing a lot more animals to keep up with the volume. Still, we should continue to move forward. I want to go splash around in the blood red water. Pardon me? Does, does anybody want to explain that to me? Um, one of my biggest complaints with this game is unlike a pretty much every other RPG that exists ever, if you level up, you heal. This game says, nah. This game is kind of punishing. But also, there was a giant hand that just came out of this. <laughs> See? And of course, let's... Now, what I learned, this looks like a uh, aqua slime, and I got a new skill to use on it. Thunder spheres! Nice. Um, I'm also, what happens if I invoke past crystals on this thing? Nope, it is at its temporal limit. But... Offensive poison, if I do this... One damage. Holy crap. The enemies are so punishing in this game. They are brutally punishing. Okay. Yeah, the enemies tear you to pieces. If you are not careful. Now, let's break past Crystal. And he takes all that poison damage. Um, I will say that the... Using the past Crystal, like the crystals to like send enemies into the future in the past, is not always... usable in my opinion there's a lot of times where I feel like it's just not 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 the best thing to use in basic fights just because it feels like it, well, it takes too much time they just did me dirty they just kamikaze I just lost a ton of health, and I had no say in what just happened. Gotta love that. And it's stunned, so he can't attack, so I'm just gonna beat on him. Paralyzed. That was a... That was cheap. This game, although it's very cutesy and adorable, is... The combat in this game is... Savage. Processing engine for red crystal dust. 
all these animals. Did you kill them? Why? My instructions require the processing of animal tissue to extract red crystal dust. Well. Your presence is decreasing the efficiency of my operation. You must leave immediately. How many does it need to kill exactly? If you continue to decrease the efficiency of my operation, you will be designated a security threat. What happens then exactly? Efficiency has passed below the security threshold. Entering stealth mode. It... it disappeared. For now. It must still be somewhere close by. All right. Oh. Stealth protocols unsuccessful. I am required to warn you before using did you ten skip. Oh, it gets to open up right away with that. It's uh, awesome. So this is a uh, attempt number two on uh, this guy. He's uh, really powerful. He's got cheap attacks. And I mean, I fought him for a while that first time. This recording has been going on for quite a while. Skills, uh, support. Um, let me. In this thing. Apparently, I can poison damage it. That's interesting. All right. And unfortunately, because the grip attack makes you lose a turn. And he just comes in and does it again because he's ah. Uh, um. Really, if this is how bosses are gonna be in this game, it's this game is going to take a very long time to beat. Um. Because holy crap. So much damage. What's that small piece that just came out? Of course. It's repairing the arm. That must be the core. If we destroy it, we can probably stop the machine. up I've wasted too much time oh yeah yeah I can do that skill heal Chris Bell up support restoring Christopher back up to top health. Let's 
gonna do a stupid grip attack. Yay! And he targets Christopher almost exclusively. It's this is so This is so cheap. This boss is so damn cheap. Okay, skills, heal. I have to spend all my time healing my people. Skills, support, restoring, plants. Not the best thing in the world, and it takes several rotations. Haha, you lose your turn. Didn't it say it was paralyzed? I just saw Paralyzed flash across my screen, but apparently the game operates on different logic than, uh, well, the bosses get to do things that, uh... So you can't, I can't block that attack, which sucks. You can't, like, parry it or anything. Yep, he loses his turn. Attack is it's disabled. Now it's gonna send out its repair. Um, sorry, but you are super weak, so I just have to use you for healing. Heals. Charging attack. Heal everybody. Top everybody's health up to 100%. Wilhelm loses his turn. Which I guess is fine because I'm just using him for healing and such at the moment. Come on, let's see if I can't disable it. Nope. One damage. Sucks. It really sucks. Oh, we did it. Oh my gosh, we did it. Guys, I was in that fight for so long. I was in that fight for so long, guys. That fight didn't end. Oh my gosh. Chris Bell learn... Celeritas? I don't. For that monster? It certainly didn't understand what it was doing. It was just acting out instructions given to it by someone. Speaking of which... 
I am certainly glad it is gone. Well, we figured out what happened to the workers. We have to return to St. Clarity and tell Sophia what we saw. Preferably without Enzo noticing. That machine didn't get there by accident. And someone had to tell it to attack humans. It is a delicate situation indeed. But either way, we need to return to the walled city. Alright, well I'm gonna head back to the walled city. And report this in. Look, I bet we can use this as a bridge to get across now. Oh, that's gonna save me time. Peter's goggles have been added to your bag. What are these? They look like goggles. Astounding. A brilliant deduction from the young warrior. What are they doing here? They look like Peter's goggles. What's going on? Maybe we should speak to him personally. Let's head to his house and speak with him when we have an opportunity. All right. Make a record of our adventure? We've made it back to the city. I have been recording for a very long time. Um, gotta say, that boss fight was horrendous. That was terrible. That boss was so cheap. And part of the issue I was having and I mentioned this while I was fighting it, is the messages that pop up across the bottom of the screen don't accurately say what's going on. Because, like, it would be like, it's paralyzed, but then the it's still attacked. It's like, well, if it's paralyzed, how is it still attacking? And then the one arm would say charging attack, and then it would switch immediately to slam and then attack me, so I would let my guard down, and it was getting, like, cheap shots on me. So, that was frustrating. That was hideously frustrating. Um, this, this episode is going to be fun to edit. Anyways, I mean, we discovered that I'm going to assume that General Enzo set that giant robot out to kill people for the uh, processing. Of things because of course he's he cares about nothing else besides profit and efficiency so uh, next episode we'll figure out hopefully we'll figure out why that robot was there and what it was doing well who put it there we know what it was doing there but anyways I'm rambling anyways <laughs> hope you guys liked it leave a like a dislike comment subscribe for more and as always hope you have a wonderful day and hope to catch you in the next video.